I want you to look at this Colgate's income statement data for 2019, 20 and 2021. There are lots of things to look at here. But if I have to ask you one question, how has Colgate's business been over the years? It's been good, bad or poor. What will you say? Obviously, you will look at each item, right, to see whether it went up or down and you would figure out if the business was doing good or not. Isn't it hard to look at these numbers and figure out whether the company has been doing well or not? There should be a systematic way to do this kind of analysis, right? And that's called as comparative statements. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj from wallstreetmojo.com and in today's video, we'll discuss all about these comparative statements, what they are, how to make one and why they are so important. Let's get started. Let us now understand what is a comparative statement. So here we have the sample income statement with two years of data, 2020 and 2021. We have been provided with sales, cost of goods sold and other expenses as well in terms of detail. So what a comparative analysis or a comparative statement does is it tries to compare this year of 2020 to 2021. Right. So what we essentially want to know is that how has been the movement over the two years period? OK, so a year over year kind of analysis. So for doing that, first, we need to understand what's the difference between the two. Right. For sales, it was 20,000 in 2020, but now it is 25,000 in 2021. So what's the difference? That's the difference between the two years. Right. So let's find that out first difference. OK, so we are talking about the absolute difference right now. It is 25,000 minus 20,000. So the company has performed better, right? Because they have increased their sales by 5,000. Correct. So we can do the same for all the other align items as well. Right. So I'll just copy and paste this formula and uh, we get uh, a lot of other information. Like, for example, gross profits has increased by 4,000. And uh, likewise, EBIT earnings before and interest taxes has increased by 2900. And uh, we have, let's say, interest expense. Interest expense has also increased by 100. So we get a good amount of detail with respect to the absolute difference. OK, but when we convert this into, say, for example, percentage, we will get a more intuitive understanding of what this means. So in order to convert this 5000 into percentage, we just have to divide this 5000 by the base here. That is 20,000. So let's find that out too. percentage difference. And that will be 5000 divided by 20,000, right? Because this is the absolute difference between the two. And this is the base here. So 25% increase in sales. So that's amazing. So 5000 may not give us a lot of inputs, but 25% we are able to intuitively see where the company is growing, right? So let's look at the other numbers too. So I'll just copy and paste it and then we'll come to the analysis part of it. So we can see that SGN expenses are you know, growing by 50%. Depreciation expense has grown by 20%. Our net income has grown by 52.9%. So that's amazing, right? So this is the kind of analysis which you can do using this comparative statements. So here we have this Colgate's uh, six years of uh, income statement data. So I've taken this from 10K and now I want you to professionally make a comparative statement for this, right? As an analyst. So what is essentially is expected is that you have to find a year over year growth of each and every line item of the income statement so that we can do some kind of analysis, right? So in the previous example, the basic one we did for, you know, 2020, 2021 and saw, you know, how the absolute and percentage difference works. So in this case, usually the absolute difference doesn't matter. We would look at the percentage difference, right? So from 2020 to 2021, how much has been the percentage increase in net sales? So we will try to document that in a systematic format right so let us now scroll down and find out the comparative statements okay so as we discussed we'll not be looking at the absolute numbers we'll be converting everything into percentage right here and here's the space where you can do it in a methodological way okay so 
let's do this net sales for 2021 first okay so what is the absolute increase the absolute increase is 17421 minus 16471 right so this is the absolute increase right and if i have to express this as a percentage increase what will i have to do i have to divide this by the base here right so divided by 16471 okay so you got it uh, absolute difference divided by the base here that will give you the percentage increase or decrease if if there is any okay so that's what i have written by way of formula here and i'll press enter okay so what we get is 5.8 percent increase in sales of colgate for december 2021 can we do the same exercise for all the years of course we can so we just need to copy and paste the formula which i will do it fairly quickly and then we can directly come to the analysis part of it okay so here we have so let me just remove the unnecessary details and yes we have this comparative statements okay so why didn't we calculate the comparative statement for 2016 because for the in doing so we would have needed 2015 data right so that's why we didn't do any calculations for 2016 we started with 2017 so what are the interesting observations from this comparative statements here so we see that okay uh, net sales has increased by 5.8 percent that's amazing for 2021 but if you look at the cost it, they have also increased by 9.2 percent so historically they have moved at a very slower pace but now it is 9.2 percent increase that's quite sharp right so you might want to understand what are the reasons behind it likewise you can scroll down and find out other interesting observations uh, another thing you can look at is while net sales increased by 5.8% in 2021, but uh, the net income increased by only 4.2%. So a lot of things which are going between the top line and the bottom line. So you might have to investigate that from the 10K reports. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comment section. Also, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the new video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.